hello friends welcome to code with fun in the previous video we have seen how can we convert decimal to binary using arithmetic operators divide or modulo here we are going to see how can do the same using the bitwise operator and percent and right shift operator here you can see that this two operator is shown here this is n percent operator and also known as bitwise end operator or n percent operator this is known as right shift operator we'll discuss one by one how the bitwise operator works and their functionality first of all we will understand the principle of working of n percent operator we can see here i am taking example 1 0 1 0 10 0 1 1 0 here <coughs> sorry here we can if we can apply n percent operator operations here then the rule of applying n percent is that n percent bit will be set only if both the bit will be set here if one and zero will be there then one bit is set and one bit is unset then result of the end operations will be zero similarly for the next one is unset and second one is set then again the result will be zero here both the value will be set both the bits will be set then then only the bitwise operator will be set and for both will be uh, unset the result will be unset so here we see how the bitwise operator works bitwise operators will be set only if both the bits will be set otherwise it will be zero now we'll look how right shift operator work right shift operators work similar like divide operator here we can see one example if if uh, i am taking one example 8 if n is taken as 8 then how right shift operator works if n is right shifted by 1 it means it means nothing but n is divided by 2 how how we say that like if we represent the binary representation of 8 it will be like 1000 0, 0, 0. this is nothing but the binary representation of 8 here what we do we have done 8 is right shifted by 1 this means the binary value of 8 will be right shifted by 1 that is one bit from the right side will be removed and 0 will be inserted from the left side on behalf of the same like 100 0, 0, this is the representation of 8 then we'll remove the last bit this one and we'll add a 0 from the behind this value is nothing but if we convert this binary to decimal this will represent 4 which is nothing but similar to n which is similar to 8 divided by 2 so hence we can say that <coughs> sorry bitwise operator uh, right shift operator is just the replacement of division if we right shifted by 1 Gen uh, in general perspective what we can see here if 18 will be the value then its the binary representation will be 10010 this will be the binary representation if 18 is right shifted by 1 this means this means one if this is the representation of 18 then the this value will be removed from the right side and a zero will be inserted from the left side similarly the value will be represent 9 which is nothing but which is nothing but 18 divided by 2 similarly if 9 the current result 9 is right shifted by 1 then it represents nothing but if 9 is represented by this then what is the right shift will remove the last bit from the right and will insert 10 to the left then it's nothing but it represents 9 divided by 2 that is 4 which that is 4 which is 9 divided by 2 <coughs> this is for 
uh, right shifted by 1 if we do 18 right shifted by 2 what it means it means that 2 bit from the right will be removed and 2 0 will be inserted to the left simple if 1 0 0 1 0 represents 18 then 2 bit removed from the right and 2 0 inserted to the left means this represent 4 that means it is equivalent to 18 divided by 2 to the power 2 here this value is represented as power of 2 in the previous 1 will be there then 2 to the power 1 will be 2 so <coughs> it will be reflected by 2 but here since 2 is divided by uh, it 18 is right shifted by 2, its value is divided by 2 to the power 2, which is represented as 4. Similarly, if similarly if 9 is right shifted by 2, then again it will be if uh, this is binary representation of 9, then the 2 bit from the right will be removed and 2 0 from the left is inserted. This represents nothing but 2 which is similar to 9 divided by 2 to the power 2 which is 9 divided by 4 that is 2 which is 9 divided by 4 that is 2 here we will understand that how and person operator and how rights of shift bitwise operator works now we will going to see how these operators will help to achieve our goal that is from conversion decimal to binary. In the previous uh, uh, methods we have used this algorithm. This is for remainder and we will reduce n by 2. Now uh, here we have used modulo and divide operator as you can see. Now in the current session we have used bitwise operator how can we use bitwise operator here here we have to achieve two things one is remainder and second one to reduce the value of number so for taking the remainder value like we have taken a one example 1001 1, that is equivalent to 9 so if uh, any value if any value is <coughs> If any value is taken in percent with 1, if any value is taken 1% with 1, then what it will do? It will give the last bit. Here, the last bit will be 0, 0, 0, and 1. This represents 1 this represent 1 means the bit is set now if we take in another example 100 and we perform same thing not here if I take in if we took 1000 and then we take n percent n percent with 1000 yep, or 1001 1. if we take an n percent with 1 then what will represent 10 different set bit will be 0 if both will be 0 both will be set then the result will be set here this represents 0 means it gives the last set bit value so here the last set bit is 1 so the output is 1 here the last set bit is 0 then output will be 0 because if the last set bit is last bit is set and 1 is all in 1 last set last bit is set so last bit is set for both the case so end percent result will be given true otherwise it will result false means 1 and 0 so if we will get last set bit then we can understand the here we can use uh, this uh, and and operation as uh, taking remainder from the number and we have seen bitwise right shift operator which is similarly working as 
a divide operator so here right shift operator is taken as the um, redu for reducing the number so as a algorithm if we see here for taking remainder if n is equal to 9 then for taking remainder will not not doing anything just n and 1 will be giving the remainder value either 0 or 1 and for reducing the number n will be just right shifted by 2 this will give the reduced n value like if we take one example 9 here then how it works how it works like for 9 <clears throat> for 9 the uh, 1001 will be the binary value so if 9 and 1 9 and 1 is taken so here is the case if 9 and 1 is taken as end value then what will be the remainder remainder will be value as 1 so here 1 will be the remainder similarly for if 9 is divided by 2 or 9 is right shifted by 2 here we have taken an example where if 9 is right shifted by 2 then this 1 will be removed and one value will be 0 will be added like if uh, if you check the right shift operator here then what we have seen the last value will be removed 1001 1. the last value will be removed and 10 will be inserted from the left means this value represents 4 this value represents 4 means here n will be now 4 similarly we can <coughs> Similarly, here we can uh, say that 4, for 4, last bit will be 0. For this is representation of 4, since last bit will be 0, then this is the case. If we take uh, n percent with 1, the result will be 0. So, now the remainder will be 0 and, <coughs> and the value of after right shifting by 2, 4 divided by 2 will be 2. Similarly, for remainder again 2, 2 and n person 1. For 2 also, the binary presents on 2 is 1, 0. For 2 also, last bit is 0. So, this is again the second case where the output will be 0. So, here remainder will be 0. And the value after divided by 2 will be. The value after divided by 2 will be 1 and again 1 1 remainder with 0 1 binary representation of 1 is 1 1 and n if two similar uh, number will be and use uh, will be uh, ending then result will be 1 so it will be 1 and now if 1 is right shifted by 2 then value becomes 0 now our loop will be stopped and here we can understand 1001 which is the binary representation of 9 achieved here sorry here the n here right shifted by 1 1 will be there taking another example similar another example uh, like uh, if n is equal to 18 If n is equal to 18, then what we can see remainder is equal to n and 1 and, uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, reducing value will be n is right shifted by 1. So here what we can see <coughs> if 18 will be there, 18 the binary representation of 18 is 101010. Here, here the last bit is 0. If we take n percent of 1, then this case will be happen and the result will be get as 0. So the remainder will be 0. And if n is right shifted by 1, then what is happen? 
18 is divided by 2 that is value will be 9 as we see here, here as we have seen here right shift operator similarly for the second case if 9 and 1 will be remainder for 9 binary representation will be for 9 binary representation is 1001 here we can see and when we take input when we take uh, and percent with 1 then the value will be 1 so so the remainder will be 1 and after rise 15 9 by 1 the value will be getting half that is 4 again 4 the binary representation of 4 is 100 the last bit is unset so the remainder will be 0 and 4 is divided by 2 then value will be 2 2 is again represented as 10 the last bit is the last bit is uh, unset then will get fall into this conditions and the remainder will be 0 and the value will become divided by 2 divided by 2 is 1 again 1 so, so if 1 is ended by 1 then value will be 1 and the remainder will be 0 now if n becomes 0 then our loop get stopped so we'll get our response here whatever the response but the same thing as you remember earlier the result is up um, <coughs> reverse of the original what we are trying to get 10010 here we can say 10010 from the right side so the final result the final binary format will get by just reversing the number from behind 10010 then this is the final result this is the final string so we have to first uh, get the temporary and reverse to get the final binary output string so this we have to implement i hope the theory will be clear to you now we'll moving to the coding section now you can see the quest, uh, console is there i will share the link for the practice in the description you can access this window from that link and you can also practice as like i am doing so, <clears throat> um, but you need to first uh, register uh, git uh, gfg account. So here uh, we'll have first uh, get uh, one temporary string for taking the temporary value. With I will initialize with the empty string. Now I will run my while loop till my number will become positive as we see in the section till the number is positive if number becomes zero then our loop will stop so <coughs> here we will get the remainder remainder is an integer variable where we store n and 1 as we see in our algorithm this will provide the last bit of my number and will store this remainder to temporary variable so temporary plus is, plus is equal to remainder and then we have to reduce the number by <coughs> right shifting it by one so n will contain n is right shifted by one so here i am getting one temporary result but this is not the final result to get the final result we have to reverse the string so will string string builder class of java to manipulate a string or reverse or a string will pass our string temporary to it it will create a string builder with the help of that and string builder provide a functionality of reverse so it will return a string builder object and but we will will trying to uh, store it into a string so we will have to convert it to string by using applied to string method on the it string builder object and lastly we'll simply <coughs> we'll simply print
print our string and we'll try to compile our program here you can uh, match our requirement with the algorithm and we'll try to compile our program here let's see what happened uh, compilation is successful I think yeah I'm going to submit mm, let's see yeah all the test cases have been passed congratulations guys this is working solutions and you can also by registering the gigs for gigs account you can register gigs for gigs by any email id uh, in free and by with that account you can uh, log in to gfg and with the help of the link provided in the description you can access this console and you can also practice like as i do so i hope uh, this video will help please like and subscribe my channels and share it to your friends and um, thank you bye bye